wonderful morning grade 3 it's nice to see you again our subject for this day is mathematics are you ready to listen and excited let's get started but before that let us have our opening prayer let us put our hands together and feel the presence of our lord heavenly father thank you for today thank you for ways in which you provide for all of us we thank you for your love and protection Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Once again, grade 3, good morning. Today, our lesson in mathematics is all about properties of multiplication. But before that, I will give you a word problem. Let us read it all together. There are four columns of chairs in a classroom. Each column has six chairs. How many chairs are there in the classroom? Kids, what is being asked in the problem? Very good. How many chairs are there in the classroom? Now let us look at the next slide. I have here a group of chairs. Let us count the column. One, two, three, and four. Again, kids, how many columns of chairs do we have? Four columns. Now, here's my question. How many chairs are there in each column? Let us count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, how many chairs are there in each column? We have six Chairs. So, for today, our mathematical sentence for this equation is 4 columns times 6 chairs is equal to 24. Did you understand, kids? Now, let's have more example. What about if there are 6 columns of chairs and each column has 4 chairs? How many chairs are there in the classroom? Let us find out. Let's count the columns of chairs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, kids, how many columns of chairs do we have? Six columns. Now, how many chairs are there in each column? Let us count all together. One, two, three, and four. Now, for our mathematical sentence, it goes like this. Six times four is equal to twenty-four. This means kids, 4 times 6 is equal to 24 and 6 times 4 is equal to 24 are the same. So we can say 4 times 6 is equal to 6 times 4. In this multiplication sentence, commutative property is being used. Okay, so this one is one, com uh, one properties of multiplication but first we need to uh, we need to learn what is commutative property of multiplication when we say commutative property of multiplication this property means that change in the places of the factors does not change the product let us look at the examples so if we have six times four and we will just interchange the two factors into four times six their products will be both the same. 24 is equal to 24. Another example, if we have 7 times 5, and then we will interchange the two factors into 5 times 7, both products are the same. It should be 35 is equal to 35. Another example, if I will give you 8 times 5, then we will interchange it into 5 times 8, we're going to have both the same product. So 8 times 5 is equal to 5 times 8 is equal to 40 is equal to 40. And then for the last example, if I have 6 times 9, we will interchange it or we will interchange the position into 9 times 6. Their products will be the same. 54 is equal to 54. Again, these are examples of commutative property of multiplication. The next one we call it associative property of multiplication. Again, the other properties of multiplication is associative property of multiplication. What does it mean? 
when you say associative property of multiplication, this property means that different ways of grouping the factors do not change the product. Let us look at the examples. So we have here a, a group of numbers. The first one, open and close parentheses, 4 times 7 times 8 is equal to 4 times open and close parentheses, 7 times 8. As you can see here, kids, on the first um, group of numbers, number 4 and number 7 are inside the parentheses and outside, which is 8. And then in the other group of numbers, number 4 is outside the open and close parentheses and inside of it are 7 and 8. So let's look at the product. So for the first step, we need to multiply 4 times 7 is equal to 28 and then bring down 8 is equal to bring down 4 and then get the product for 7 times 8 is equal to 56. And then after that, we will multiply again the group of numbers. So 28 times 8 is equal to 224 and then 4 times 56 is equal to 224. So our both answers are the same. Another example, we have 6 times open and close parentheses 3 times 8 and then is equal to open and close parentheses 6 times 3 times 8. Again, we just interchange or we just regroup the numbers. Find the product for 3 times 8 is equal to 24. And then find the product for 6 times 3 is equal to 18. And then just bring, up, bring down the both numbers. 6 times 24 is equal to 144. And 18 times 8 is equal to 144. Again, kids, remember in associative property of multiplication, even it has um, groupings of numbers or digits, the products are also the same. The next one we have identity property of multiplication. What does it mean? This property means that one is the identity element in multiplication. If one is multiplied to any number, the identity of the number remains the same. Again, if one is multiplied to any number, the identity of the number remains the same. Let us look at the examples. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Again, 1 times 6 is equal to 6. The next one, 7 times 1 is equal to 7. 9 times 1 is equal to 9. 1 times 10 is equal to 10. And then 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Remember greatly, any number that we multiply by 1, the number will remain the same or the answer will be remain the same. The next one is zero property of multiplication. Again, zero property of multiplication. When we say zero property of multiplication, this means that any number multiplied to zero is equal to zero. Again, um, any number that multiplied to zero is equal to zero. This one is the very easy part for properties of multiplication and also the identity property of multiplication. Let us look at the example. Zero times seven is equal to zero. 12 times 0 is equal to 0. 9 times 0 is equal to 0. 0 times 10 is equal to 0. 0 times 15 is equal to 0. And then last but not the least, 8 times 0 is equal to 0. Did you understand, kids? It's very easy, right? Thank you for listening. Next, we have the last one, distributive property of multiplication over addition. Again, distributive property of multiplication over addition. What does it mean? This means that the product of two factors is the same, which a factor is multiplied to the value of each digit in the other factor. Let's look at the example. So first we have six times 35. The first thing that you need to do is to distribute first, okay? And then we need to use the expanded form to separate the 35. And what is the expanded form for 35? 30 plus 
5, right? So here's our group of numbers. 6 times 30 plus 6 times 5. How did we get 30 and 5? We use the expanded form. And then, let's multiply. So 6 times 35 is equal to 210, but we're not finished yet. Let's look at the product of 6 times 30 and 6 times 5. And what is the product for 6 times 30? Very good. It's 180. And then for 6 times 5 is 30. And then we need to add the product of 180 plus 30. And we come up with 210 is equal to 210. And then another example. We have here 7 times 42 is equal to 7 times 40 plus 7 times 2. Again, we need to use to the expanded form to separate the 42. And what is the final, uh, what is the second answer? 7 times 42 is equal to 294. But we're not finished yet. We need to find the product of 7 times 40 and 7 times 2. And what is the product for 7 times 40? Good job, it's 280 and for 7 times 2 is 14. So all we have to do is to add 240 plus 14. Let's look at if they are both the same answer. Very good, it's 294 x is equal to 294. Did you understand our discussion kids? Don't forget the key points for you to know more or for you to understand more. Here's the key point. For commutative property, this property means that change in the places of the factors does not change the product. I will repeat, even we interchange the two factors or their position, the product will be the same. And then the second one, associative property. This property means that different ways of grouping the factors do not change the product. And then the next one, Identity property, this means that one is, is the identity element in multiplication. If one is multiplied to any number, the identity of the number remains the same. And then the next one, we have zero property. This means that any number multiplied to zero is equal to zero. And then the last one, distributive property over addition. This means that the product of two factors is the same when a factor is when a factor is multiplied to the value of each digit in the other factor. Now let's answer your book. Kindly open your book on pages 128 to 129. Let us answer mind reels letter A and B. For letter A, identify the property of multiplication shown in each mathematical sentence. Find the answers in the box. Write the acronym only for your answer. Alright, for number 1, we have 5 times 6 times 8 is equal to 5 times 6 times 8. What do you think is the property of multiplication for this? Good job. It's associative property of multiplication or APM. And then the next one, it has 0. 0 times 7 is equal to 0. If the answer is 0, the property of multiplication is ZPM or 0 property of multiplication. And then for number 3, we have 1 times 9 is equal to 9. This one is identity property of multiplication. And then for number 4, we have 5 times 6 is equal to 6 times 5. Again, in number 4 kids, we change the factors, but the answers here are the same, 30, right? So this one is commutative property of multiplication. Then the next one, number 5, 6 times 57 is equal to open and close parentheses, 6 times 50 plus 6 times 7. This one is distributive property of multiplication over addition. Then number five, 6, 9 times 7 is equal to nine, 7 times 9. This one is CPM or commutative property of multiplication. Then number 7, 8 times 1 is equal to 8. What do you think is the answer here? Yes, it's identity property of multiplication. And the number 8, 9 times 0 is equal to 0. This one is very easy, kids. 
it is zero property of multiplication. And then the next one we have eight times open and close parenthesis six times seven is equal to open and close parenthesis eight times six times seven. So here the answer is APM. And the number 10, seven times 69. Again, we need to distribute the numbers here. Open and close parenthesis seven times 60 plus open and close parenthesis seven times nine. What do you think is the answer here, grade three? Good job, it's DPMA. The number 11, 23 times open and close five minus five is equal to zero. As you can see here, kids, we have another group of number which is five minus five. So if we will subtract both number, it's equivalent to zero. So 23 times zero is equal to zero. What do you think is the answer here? Good job, it's zero property of multiplication. And the number 12, we have open and close parentheses four minus three times seven is equal to seven. All we have to do is to subtract first, four minus three is equal to one, and then we will multiply it by seven. One times seven is equal to seven. What do you think is the answer here? Very good, it's IPM, identity property of multiplication. And then for number 13, nine times eight times two is equal to eight times two times three. As you can see here, kids, we have three factors, but we just interchange the position. The answer is CPM, commutative property of multiplication. And then number 14, two times 46 is equal to open and close parenthesis two times 40 plus open and close parenthesis two times six. This one shows the distributive property of multiplication over addition. And then for the last number, we have open and close parenthesis five times four and five, um, times nine is equal to five times open and close parenthesis four times nine. What do you think is the answer here, kids? Yes, it's associative property of multiplication. For letter B, fill in the box to make the mathematical sentence correct. Identify the property of multiplication shown and write it on the line. Let's look at the items. For number one, blank times seven is equal to zero. So if the answer is zero, what do you think is the missing number? Good job, it's also zeros. And this one is zero property of multiplication. And the number two, five times blank is equal to five. If they have the same identity or it remains the same, what do you think is the missing number? One, very good. And this one is identity property of multiplication. And the number three, five times six is equal to six times blank. What do you think is the missing number here? We just interchange the position. Good job, it's number five. And this one is commutative property of multiplication. And second to the last number, blank times nine is equal to nine. Again, what do you think is the missing number here? Because our answer is nine, the missing number is one. And this one is identity property of multiplication. And for the last item, we have seven times miss 45 is equal to open and close parenthesis seven times blank plus open and close parenthesis seven times five. In here, kids, we use the distributive property of multiplication. And what is the missing number? Yes, it's number 40. Again, this one is DPMA. All right, kids, did you understand our lesson today in mathematics about properties of multiplication? I just want to remind you, kids, we don't have assignment in mathematics. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you learned a lot today. See you in our next session. Goodbye!